Aurora is one of the most diverse cities in Colorado. More than 40% of the population identifies their race as other than white. That is a big reason why Aurora Fire is trying to change to reflect the city it serves. Right now, about 4% of Aurora firefighters are black and a little more than 8% are women. A volunteer task force is not only working to increase those numbers, but they're actively taking steps to be more inclusive, like rebuilding firehouses to include women's bathrooms. Our Kelly Worthman introduces us tonight to the former Denver Bronco who is helping to make changes. Behind the wheel of a fire engine is the last place Chase Vaughn ever thought he'd be. It's a whole different level of responsibility and uh, it's a lot more math involved. So. <laughs> It's a job he's grown to love. He just didn't think a guy like him could actually be a firefighter. As a kid, you see firefighters, um, but as a young black kid, I didn't see black firefighters. So it didn't, for me at least, it didn't click with me that that was an obtainable job. So growing up, Chase chased down a different dream. He followed his love of football from Smoky Hill High School in Aurora to Colorado State University in Pueblo and eventually to the ultimate hometown team. I grew up around Broncos and Broncos fans and for that to be the team that, that get, gave me my shot, um, you know, that, that was that was awesome. As his time as a Bronco came to a close, a firefighter, a black firefighter, encouraged Chase to consider joining the fire service. That conversation was funny because I told him, I was like, man, I don't know if I could run into a burning building. And he said, well, I used to play football and um, it's just like putting your helmet on and running down on kickoff. It's the same feeling. It's at the 28. Beyond a similar adrenaline rush, 500 gallons of water. Chase saw it as an opportunity to do more in his hometown, in his community. And before long, Chase was on an engine with Aurora Fire Rescue. Thing. But he's perhaps most impressed by Chase's impact on the department's culture. He's not scared or worried about difficult conversations. Well, the conversations that may have been frowned upon, you know, about uh, race, religion, different cultures. Outside his 24-hour shifts, Chase volunteers with Aurora Fire's diversity, equity, and inclusion team. From tough conversations in the firehouse to getting crews to attend more community events, Chase is helping change how firefighters connect with each other and the public. I think your fire department should be diverse, um, just like your city. It's just about being connected um, to the people that you interact with daily. I've seen more interest from the community and like, hey, I can be a firefighter. Um, and that is a direct result of people like Chase. Like Chase, who once believed being a firefighter was impossible, now showing others that no matter who you are, anything is possible. Even if it's one kid or two kids out there can see me and kind of do a double take and like, oh, shoot, you know, it's a, it's a black, black firefighter. You know, that's pretty cool. Maybe I can do that. Pretty cool in a lot of ways. Kelly Worthman reporting tonight. She is a CBS Colorado reporter dedicated to covering our Aurora community and is always looking to tell your story. Feel free to call our tip line at 303-863-TIPS.